Happy Friday. I'm so quiet. Feels weird talking to a camera. I feel like everybody's listening to me. So maybe I'll go inside. Might make me feel a little less weird. So here we are back inside where it's nice and safe. I decided to come back in because, mm, yeah, I feel weird for some reason out there. I don't want people looking at me weird. Do I? Things happen this week. Um, Elon Musk shot his car up into space. It's pretty neat. Although, it's not coming back. I don't know if he thought that through all the way. The vlog for this weekend is just gonna be a solo. Just me, just the dude. In the morning, I gotta go to her parents' house and help uh, replace a door. So I'm gonna do that, and afterward, I'm going to... I don't know where I'm gonna go yet. I'll find out tomorrow, I guess. So you know what? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right? And... and tomorrow is here. I still don't really know what I'm doing today. Other than helping her dad uh, put up a door. I'm gonna go in, get my coffee. Drink my coffee. Yes, this is Jessica's mug. Don't tell her. <sighs> coffee! Now fast forward a couple of hours and we have ourselves here. Northeast Florida, the northern easternest part of Florida, Amelia Island. And more specifically, Fort Clinch. So we're gonna take a wander around. I haven't been here in a very long time since I was just like a kid. So it should be pretty cool. There's cannons and there's like reenactment people and like all kinds of stuff. And it's got a lot of beaches to check out. So oh man, check out those cannons. It's a good thing they're stopped up. We might be in the danger zone. And actually, uh, as I came into the park, it's a, it's a state park. They have all kinds of things to do here at the campground and a lot of beachfront. Um, as I came in, they gave me this really cool um, shark tooth identification card. So that's pretty neat. So maybe we'll go along the beach here and we'll see if we can't find some shark's teeth. And as stated on one of the signs, this fort was built for war, not for safety. And not just in the fort, but here along the ocean, there could be slippery surfaces and loose rocks on the jetties. So use at your own risk. Children must be accompanied by an adult. But alas, I am by myself today. But check it out. Looks really nice out here. Yeah, we're keeping an eye out for any shark's teeth that we may see down here. Although, I probably would have better luck a little bit closer to the water. But my feet might get wet. So I might stay up here. But... If I want to find some shark's teeth, I may need to go down there. We are not having too much good luck finding shark's teeth. Look at this view there, this is really nice. Look at that. And that's pretty weird, like, you know, it's like clear over here, but you can see kind of far away. There's a bit of fog out on the horizon. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty, pretty weird. But anyways, we're gonna make our way into the fort. One other neat thing uh, about the area around here is this all that we're on right here is Florida. Everything else across the water, not Florida. We'll give it to Georgia. We'll let them have it. So yeah, just right across of there, Georgia line. the state of peaches. And as we trek on this trail coming up here up to the front of the fort from the beach across this moat anyways across this old bridge into the fort we go. Oh, it's 
like a real drawbridge. It sounds very 40 in here. It comes into this opening here. Cool big field, lots of buildings. People playing in what used to be a military compound of epic proportions. Yeah, let's go into here. These look like barracks or something. Oh yeah, there's a fireplace. Oh man, there's a jail. Latrine duty, drunkard. Oh man, a lot of bricks in here. This is cool, you can actually see what the, uh, what the wall used to have on it as the, uh, the finished coat. So you got your, your bricks as your, uh, your base and then you cover it with this material, whatever this is, um, to give it a nice smooth finish and seal it, I suppose. This is where the real bad dudes, real bad dudes go. Not getting out of there too easy. See anything in there? No? Okay. There's another little cell in here. Three tiered bunk beds. I mean, they're pretty wide. This slept two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, a dozen people. We got a desk where you can write some letters. White wall. It seems to be all busted down on the lower parts. Let's go see what else we can find. Oh, this is cool. This is where you tied up the horses right here. When you came in off the trails. All right. So into the enlisted men's barracks we go. It's quite a threshold. Uh, oh. So weird. Door handle. This is the the enlisted men barracks. Oh, look at these curved, this curved ceiling in here. That's interesting. It looks like this is where they would come in to eat their breakfast and warm up, maybe play some games. This is a room all by itself. This has got a coat hanger. It's got his own, uh, this is probably a light source. Uh, looks like some candles with a, uh, a mirror, so it bounces the light off, so it's a little extra light. You got a nice little desk here and a, and, and a window. I don't know what this thing is, maybe a, uh, just a little stool, a little seat to sit on. So this must be for like the, one of the head guys. That does not, that does not look comfy. Nope. But I guess it's better than the dirt. Come through here, this looks like the, one of the main rooms. And it smells like fire in here. You can smell it. Can you smell that? You got a good bit of beds in here. Looks like that's where you'd rest your, your guns and stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go see what else we can find. So we've made our way into the other side of the, uh, uh, the barracks, the enlisted men's barracks. And this looks like the, uh, maybe the officer side here, because there's a lot nicer rooms in here, nicer views. They got fancy these things. Come across here. Yeah, this is this is much nicer. Everybody has their own room. A nice big window. Nice. This room looks to be to where the officers would come in and make their plans. For victory. All right, so we just came out of here. This is the the barracks right here, the enlisted men's barracks. And right on the back side of them, we've got the blacksmith as well as the bakery. So let's see what the blacksmith's up Here's to. The blacksmith's door. Uh, he must be out. Must be lunchtime for him. But lucky for us, he left the window open. Anybody know where that no good cheating blacksmith might be? Just let me know, okay? Just uh, looking for him. Here's the other room of the blacksmith. You can see, there's, a, there's a, an anvil. Yeah, there's an anvil over there. There's like a cannonball he made. There's, uh, I don't know, all kinds of stuff way back there. It's pretty dark. I don't know if you can see it, but a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, the dinner bell. That's a good one. Pretty neat. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty neat little area. So we trek over to the other side here. We come across the bakery. Looks to be closed as well. Yep. 
window is open. Oh, and there's where they do all their baking. Oh yeah, no one home. There's the apron put up for the day. No such luck for us this time that there's a wonderful cherry pie cooling off on the windowsill for us to sneak a taste of. And then as we come from the blacksmith and the bakery, we turn around to the side here and this is uh, what is commonly known as the ramps. You might be able to tell why they call them ramps. But that goes up to the curtain wall as well as those stairs. But for now, we are going in between the blacksmith and the bakery down this hallway, the curtain wall gallery. I don't know why, but that's what uh, that's what this thing says. It says this is the curtain wall gallery. It's pretty neat. Spooky. A little bit spooky, but it's uh, it's pretty pretty spooky in here. It's really old, like 18 way back. What is this? This is the 19. Oh, it's the latrine where all this nice greenery is. This is the uh, this is the latrine. That's where the guys come to relieve themselves. Mark their territory, even. Man, look at those windows. It's, it's crazy how they, like, they taper in. They're real wide at this part, and they taper in at the other side. You know, it's a lot harder. You can see out pretty good, but it's a lot harder to see in, or, or shoot in, even. You can just wander around here for a long time. All right, so that was the latrine, and these are the curtain walls, I guess. Crazy. I don't know which way to go, but we're gonna stay off those slopes. Let's go this way to number two, with this, which is the South Bastion. We just came from that little building section there. That's the latrine down this walkway to this. Man, I mean, just this just looks cool. It's got this really neat, you know, mossy stuff growing on the walls. It's not fake. That's real. What's in there? Hmm. It's a, it's a big window. We were just out there. Came through. Came through this walkway into this big room here, which you can see back behind us. Pretty cool. We used to be able to go up there through that way, but it's like it's, it's closed right now for construction safety. Safety first. Although a fort was not built for safety, it was built for war. But as we go through here, this big thing, I don't know what this is for. Maybe for lifting the cannons? It looks like maybe they, they build some cannons here or something. Let's see where it looks out towards. Looks right out that way. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'll buy that. This looks like some sort of firing room or something. It looks like some really heavy duty door was on there. It looks pretty spooky in there. I don't, probably not gonna go in there, but take a listen. Very quiet. Let's head back this way. See what else we can find. What a cool place. All right, so we just came back through the latrine down to the other side here. We're gonna go the other way, which is number 13, the Bastion Galleries. So we're gonna head out that way to number three, which is the Southwest B Bastion? What's a bastion? Let's see what's in here. See if we can find any spookiness. another one of these big rooms where it looks like they may have done some constructing of cannons and whatnot. I could, that's the only thing I can imagine is building like maybe cannonballs in there or something. It's a cannonball making room or, or something. That is a uh, heavy duty hinge spot with a very thick wall there. It might even venture inside of this one. All right, so yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty spooky in here. I don't know what they would build. Very uneasy in there. So, like I get the uneasy feeling. Oh look, stairs are uh, open. Go up this tight stairway here. And up and out we go. Oh wow, we can see a really nice view of the whole fort. Check that out. Man, that's cool. All over there. All 
all that way is not Florida. Florida, not Florida. Florida, not Florida. Oh, look, there's somebody in their cool sailboat. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Da, 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 da. You can see the stars on it. Not quite 50 or so on there. How did I not see those cannons? They're ginormous, giant cannons. I would not want to be on the receiving end of one of them things. I could do some damage. Despite continuing efforts, Fort Clinch was never completed, as noted by all of the construction today, even still. So it began construction in 1847. It started in 1847, and by 1860, only two-thirds of the walls were completed. Not a single cannon had been mounted. <sighs> it's hard to find good help these days, right? Coming down. Coming down. Oh man, look at that. Looks like we're getting close to those cannons. Man, look at these cannons. Look at that. Absolutely do not want to be on the wrong side of that thing. I mean, look, this is my hand. Can you imagine, like, having to aim this thing? It's just got wheels. There's no motors on this thing. You just push the thing. It's got little numbers saying, hey, turn it up to 11. That thing. They're not messing around here. I mean, once they finally got everything put up. It took them a long time, but once they got it, you didn't want to mess with these dudes. smoke. I knew I smelled it. Now I see it. Where there's smoke, there's fire. That's where one of the big cannons was. Were. Big cannons were. Let's go back down. Stairs. Back into another one of these bastion rooms. Another one of these weird rooms here that I'm not gonna go in. Oh, you know what we did not do? We didn't go see what uh, was burning over in that building over there. I mean, not burning building, but like, you know, what they were cooking or had the fire going or whatever. Let's go see. Still smoldering. Locked. Oh yeah, here's the kitchen. I was spitting in the kitchen. Rules. Turns out these are the kitchens and laundry here, which is uh, seems like a good place to put the water at. But it's got locked down here. No water for us. It's a nice place for resting. Also, here, what is this? Not sure what this is. Just a closet? Maybe it's the linen closet. It's supposed to be laundry. Right? Let's see what's in here. Government cannon powder. Four three inch cannonballs in there. 100 rounds of Borman time fuse. Another kitchen here. It's pretty cool. What is this? Marshall pottery. Anything in here? Empty. Foiled. Man, that'd be a, that'd be a sweet cookie jar. Coming across here, we found all the kitchens. Let's see what do we got in here? Oh, it's the laundry. Mrs. Hatch's boiled laundry. Done with it. There's some stuff hanging to dry. Looks just like the kitchen, except with more laundry. As we're looking at the, uh, the laundry and the kitchen area, this on the ground here, this is actually the unfinished officer's area, as notated by my trusty map here, number 17, unfinished officer's quarters. We were talking about how this place never got finished. Proofs in the pudding. That is, you know what? I just walked past this like a lot of times, but that is a really nicely stacked stack of firewood. So we walked all around on the outside buildings, except for one. We forgot this big one way over here. This is the storehouse dispensary that we're about to go in. And then actually we'll head back over to the place at the very end there. Storehouse dispensary. Straight across from the entrance to the fort right there. All right. Let's go in. Ooh, the quartermaster. Oh, look. 
steps. Can we go up? Is it okay to go up? So we just walked up those stairs, going into this building here, into the upper top section. So this is the storehouse and dispensary for it looks like many different things. Brass eagle plates, an eight count of uh, partridges, candles, that's real important, whitewash, might need to open that thing up. Whale oil, what's that for? Got coal oil, grease axle, Japan paint, rosin. What is Japan paint? I don't, I don't, I don't know what stuff is. I don't know what that is in there. There's some weird stuff. Looks like all kinds of weird stuff in there. Oh, and then this last uh, room upstairs here, looks like this is where they keep the food. Here we have some, some pickles, that's good. Some old Jake Beam Sour whiskey. There we go, there's the one we're looking for right there. Some vinegar, wash it down a little. Tell you what, they really need to open up that whitewash container. Take a brush to this wall here. Man, this place is really cool. I mean, it's, it's really neat. It feels like it's almost untouched. Like they're doing a good job of making it seem really old, but safe. But remember, Forts were built for war, not safety. All right, number 14 was the storehouse dispensary, as notated there. Storehouse dispensary. We went upstairs and looked where there was a lot of goods being stored. Let's go check out the quartermaster's area. All right, looks like this is where you go to get suited up in proper attire. You got your sweet hats, sweet boots, and some hot pants, nice shirt. Cool hats. This must be like the cool guy's hat because these hats just look standard. Oh, and then we've got some lanterns and stuff over there and some flags. Oh, here's a map of where we're at. We are up here. You know what? That is Cumberland Island. I told that guy that was not Cumberland Island, Island across the way, but it looks like it is. Or no, you know what? It's probably the Pelican Shoal. It's probably what we're looking at. This map seems different than real life. It's where they store the, the tools for building stuff. Because they're not just uh, fighting guys here. You know, they gotta build the place. Gotta upkeep it and all that. Nice fireplace. Got your spittoon. Ding! And here's the entire fort right here. There's where you enter at. And you come straight across. And this, there's a, we're like right here. You look out and that's the flat side way over there. Which is where we're gonna go. We're gonna end up over at the building right there, which is the guard rooms. We're gonna go to the guard rooms now. All right, and across the way you see the storehouse and dispensary, and across this field and into this room is the guards' quarters. So this is where the guards hang out. Right at the front here, ready on the go at all times. Great inducements. Come into the engineers and be happy. No humbug. No. That's it. I've got to start. That's, I, no humbug? No humbug? Look at these dudes. They look like, uh, they probably mean business. An old eagle. That's where the guards hang out. Right in here. I was like, where they step through here just in case of trouble. This was uh, pretty all right, man. I was just speaking to another gentleman in there. He was telling me a little bit of the history uh, on the fort here. After the War of 1812 is when they started building like nine of these forts to protect the, uh, the waterways. This one got shut down because of, of money. That's also why we had the uh, officer's quarters that never got finished. It, was, it all came down to money. The government was not making enough money to support this place. Fort Clinch State Park. If you're in the Northeast Florida area, come check it out. It's really cool. The beaches are beautiful. There's lots of trails to hike on, and you can come check out some history at the fort. All right, guys, as far as we're concerned, that's Pretty cool.